Saying goodbye is tough, especially when it's to someone who's been a big part of your history and who you are for a long time. It's really sad when players you love leave your favourite team, but when the truly special ones go, it's even harder. So, get ready because today we're talking about 10 amazing players who left their teams this summer after being there for a long time. Let's start with the touching one, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He had a double farewell since he said goodbye to both AC Milan and his football career after the 2022-23 season. In AC Milan's final game of the season, the amazing striker was honoured by the team. He talked in front of the full San Siro Stadium and it was super emotional. We saw Zlatan, the lion, the big star, actually crying and his voice shaking. Who would have guessed the strong man could show his soft side? Similarly, let's talk about Gianluigi Buffon. This guy is truly one of the best goalkeepers ever. People know him for being amazing and for having a super long career. He played football in four different decades and pretty much owned the game for most of that time. Most of his big wins came with Juventus and the Italy national team. But he started at Parma and before he retired, he made a complete loop by going back to Parma in 2021. And this was after they got bumped down to the second league in Italy. In August 2023, the legend told everyone that he was done with professional football for good. He's 45 years old and had a fantastic career for 28 years. This guy's career has been around longer than some of you watching this. Pretty amazing. Here's another interesting character, Emmanuel Adebayor. People have different thoughts about this Togolese striker. Some are good, some not so good and some are just plain controversial. Like Zlatan, Adebayor travelled all around. He played in Togo, France, England, Spain and Turkey and even went to Paraguay. Finally, he came back to Togo in 2021 to finish his career. Adebayor didn't worry much about anything. He did and said whatever he felt like, whenever and wherever. He played for three different teams in London, including both sides of North London, the white and red. And that crazy celebration he did against Arsenal in 2009, unforgettable. So, in March 2023, Adebayor said he was stopping playing at 39. Maybe his career wasn't the fanciest, but the streets will never forget him. And those streets will also never forget Mazet Ozil, He's a total legend in football. Ozil is one of the most creative midfielders ever. The number of times he set up goals season after season in different leagues was just unbelievable. He even won the World Cup, but people mostly love Ozil for how effortlessly he made football beautiful. Sadly, things didn't end well for him at Arsenal and that's when he looked at other options in 2021. He went to Turkey, where his parents are from, and joined Fenerbahce in 2021. Later, in 2022, he went to Istanbul Basaksehir. But he started having injuries often, so he decided to retire in March 2023. Just like Ozil, Fabregas was an exceptional playmaker. Sadly, he also hung up his boots. He started playing in the big leagues when he was only 16 and he had a really successful career for 20 years. Because he played so smartly, lots of us could have guessed he'd be a coach someday. So it wasn't too shocking when he said he was done playing after just a year with Colmo. Right away, he became the coach of the Serie B club. Another Spaniard who has followed suit is David Silva. He is another top midfielder who's saying goodbye to the game this year. Ozil, Fabregas, Silva, wow! The sport lost three all-time greats in the same year. 2023 has been quite a year. If you want to see beautiful football, 
Just watch David Silva play. He handled the ball so smoothly and could create magic out of the thin air. He was so good that Guardiola moved to the city partly to coach him. David Silva is simply a genius with the ball. We want to say the sport will really feel David Silva's absence, but that's not even enough to describe it. After playing pro football for 20 years, Silva announced that he's retiring, just six days after hurting his ACL. Maybe he could have played longer without that bad injury. Who knows who else we're going to miss? Gareth Bale. He was a super entertaining player. In his 17-year career, he scored amazing goals and had crazy moments on and off the field. Real Madrid got to experience all sorts of Bale moments. Remember that goal in the 2018 Champions League final? And the time he held that flag, Real Madrid loved him. Then they didn't. But no matter what, he's a true legend. He left Madrid for LAFC in 2022. Later, he sent Wales to their first World Cup in 64 years with a free kick against Ukraine. That meant everything to him. So it wasn't a surprise that after playing and scoring at a World Cup, he retired. His last game was for Wales, which was fitting because he loves his country. Another Madrid legend, Diego Godin, also retired this year. He hung up his boots at 37 after 20 years as a pro player. His prime was at Atletico Madrid and he's a real legend there. And of course, we can't forget Joaquin. The real Betis legend said goodbye to football at 42 after a 24-year career. He started and ended with Betis, winning two Copa del Rey titles 17 years apart. Some people might not love him, but his fans are super serious about him. Let's mention Bojan Kirkic too. The pressure of being the next Messi was too much. After 16 years, he retired in March 2023 at just 32. He fittingly announced it at the Camp Nou. Lastly, Gerard Piquet also retired in November 2022. It feels that with the retirement of so many legends, we are losing a part of our souls. Remember those matches featuring Piquet? Those El Clasico, where he would just boss the game. Only CR7 used to outpace him. Those were the games. Sadly, with his ending, Spanish football will miss a big legend. So, no more Zlatan memes, Piquet scandals, Fabregas injuries, and Buffon's exceptional saves. You can find good new players, but no one can come close to the level they all achieved. This also is a reminder that more legends will retire in 2024 and 25. Maybe the end of Messi and CR7 is near. How would fans react to that? Do let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and a subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the bell icon so you don't miss new stuff. See you in the next one. Goodbye.